Food is leading the way in cleaning up our rivers and seawater. We get many kinds of pollution in our water, such as plastic bags, bottles, chemicals and even raw sewage from our toilets. People come from all around the world to visit Butte. Some go surfing, some go swimming, and some like to just play on the beach. But I love to go surfing. I've uh, established a surfing club about eight to ten years ago and uh, it was basically to incorporate some of the kids locally as well as kids that came from surrounding villages to get them in the water on a Friday and we'd go down and surf. It was absolutely amazing, it just rocketed within sort of the popularity but that was often affected by the water quality so I could run that club as long as the water was clean. Our hotels and campsites are always full in the summer. But if Bude gets a reputation for poor water quality, visitors could be put off coming to our town. We must also encourage tourists to join us in keeping our water clean. We as a business have a very environmentally friendly ethos. Um, we try hard to communicate the relationship that the visitors would have towards the sea for what they might put down the sink in, in the accommodation, the fats, um, putting wet wipes down the toilets right throughout the park. What I've tried to do is to inform the young people of Bude that we need to keep our beaches clean. I mean, I've told them what you can do is maybe after a surf, as you walk out of the sea, you can pick up plastics, litter. If everybody does that, it's gonna have a massive impact and help keep this place clean. At least 50,000 people use the sea pool, minimum, uh, a year. Whatever goes on in the sea, is going on in the sea pool. So if the sea becomes polluted, then obviously we're concerned that the sea pool is likewise going to be polluted. It's vital that we keep the waters around you as clean as possible. Molly, I know another reason why our water may get polluted. Bude farmers are working really hard to keep their yards clean and keeping the animals snowy from the rivers. Two or three years ago now we'd done some fencing down beside the stream to try and stop the, stop the animals from going into the stream because it was just the water and that was terrible really, you know. We fenced that off and uh, it's worked out very well. I just think that if all the farmers in the area can pull together and do a little bit to help the situation down in Butte or all in North Cornwall. And South West Water are also working towards improving our water quality. South West Water has been involved with Butte Clean the Seas over the last 18 months looking at trying to find misconnections on the sewer edge network. Future plans for Bude in particular are very much about connect right, so getting people's misconnections out of the system, about ensuring that people use the sewer edge network correctly, so the Love Your Loo style campaign, helping people to understand that the sewer age network is not a garbage disposal system. Ollie, did you know a man comes to our beach and tests if our water is clean? Bacteria we test for within this water are uh, intestinal enterococci and E. coli. And if both of those exceed a certain set parameter, then the beach owner can advise against swimming. If there is a significant pollution event, we would have to take the responsibility as to what course of action we think is appropriate. Uh, if it's a small scale event, it could be as simple as putting up signs. If it's a significant event, then we would close the beach and it's in our interests and the public interest to do that. So from, from our perspective, if the beach was closed, it wouldn't stop people staying in the hotel, it wouldn't stop them sitting on the terrace, and it wouldn't stop them enjoying the fantastic sunset that we have. But basically, they'd be looking at a beach that was closed, and nobody wants to look at a beach that's closed. It's really important that we don't take it for granted that we live by the sea. I know what you mean. It makes me feel so happy. 
We've been doing research over the last five years which is showing that living near and interacting with places like the Cornish Coast is actually really good for people's mental health. People exercise more. We know that physical activity is good for health but there's also obviously some psychological what we call restoration. So the daily stress is built up. Going for a 20 minute plus walk along the beach we've demonstrated several times now that this is really good for people's mental health. It's super important that everyone does their bit to keep the water clean. Otherwise, our town and our wildlife will suffer. Follow Bewed Cleaner Seas Project on Twitter and on Facebook to see how you can get involved.